So I finished the first part of my Nathan's double field coil replication. I do have a, a soft iron core. I have cotton covered copper wire and I have my iron wire over here. And I have each uh, layer of windings separated um, with a layer of cotton. I tried to replicate this um, as close to his original pattern as I possibly could. Um, what's interesting is I had this soaking in a quart jar of water for a couple hours and during that time it didn't really generate a lot of uh, power. I was not able to run this small electric motor on it. But when I took it out of the water and as the coil started to dry out um, it started generating enough power to actually run this small motor. And it's pretty interesting because as the coil's been drying out it seems to be running this motor better and better. Um, I don't really expect that to continue. At some point it, it will probably dry out completely and stop running. But I'll go ahead and let it uh, keep running and overnight and I'll see what it's doing in the morning. It would be really nice if I don't have to have it submerged in water. I'm sure maybe when you bury these in the ground it keeps the moisture level uh, just right possibly. But anyway, I thought this was really interesting. And like I said, I'll just let it keep running and see how long this little motor runs on it. So that's where I'm at with my stubble fuel coil replication. Let's all keep experimenting with these and see what we can find out.